I have some cool animations to show you so you can see exactly what's going on when you use my biochemical system. Okay, so the first thing you got to understand is how your penis grew during puberty with puberty-based growth. This is the heart of my biochemical system and is the reason why it works. We're not going to rely on some dodgy pseudoscience to make you grow. I've tried that. You may have tried that too, and we both know that it fails every time. Instead, all we want to do is to restart the growth that happened during puberty. This is the way that your body naturally made your penis bigger to begin with. This isn't something that has worked a few times for a few guys. This is something that has worked literally billions of times for every man that's ever lived. That's our advantage over every other system. This is just about restarting something that's happened before. It's a lot easier than forcing something new, and it's natural, so it really works. People have written to me and said, John, I've been looking at extenders, and they look pretty good. Why should I listen to you instead of just buying one of them? Well, I don't know about you, but when I was going through puberty and my penis was getting bigger, I didn't have to attach a penis extender for a few hours a day. Later in life, I tried to use one, actually, and it didn't work even a little bit. Then, as you know, I stumbled upon something more natural. Now, this is why the whole natural route is better. It's better because it's something that works with the body rather than against it like all the other products out there. I mean, they all have you pulling, stretching, pumping, and forcing your penis bigger. But the biochemical method is the opposite of those scams. It works with the body to actually make your penis grow. Cool, huh? So, how did your penis grow during puberty? That becomes the million-dollar question, right? It's quite a complicated process, but growth was caused by only a handful of biochemicals and nutrients which promote enlargement. What happened was that there were receptors in the penis, and they reacted with the biochemicals and nutrients. And when they came into contact with each other, the penis grew from the inside. So when you were going through puberty, these biochemicals were surging through your body, making your penis grow. They were produced by chain reactions that took place inside the body. Now, when puberty ended, one link in the chain was cut off by the body. This means that your body went and screwed the whole damn chain up. <laughs> that meant that all your penis growth ended just like that. Well, here's the good news. Your body was really clever when it ended this biochemical production because, as you know, our bodies try to do things as efficiently as possible. So, when your body stopped one link in the chain, it left the rest of the chain intact. I know that doesn't sound too exciting, but think about it. It means that we can easily manipulate the body and trick it into restarting the whole process just by filling in that one single link in each biochemical chain. When you fill in that link, the biochemicals that you need for penis growth are produced and the penis actually grows all over again. Now, there were, of course, other biochemicals which were produced in the body during puberty. However, we don't even have to worry about them because the way you restart the link in something that you control yourself on a conscious level. That means that we can focus on only producing the biochemicals that were there for penis enlargement. Forget about all the others. We can just plain ignore them. But how do you fill in the link, I hear you ask? This is the second million dollar question. You fill in the missing links by supplementing the biochemical which the body stopped producing naturally. So here's an actual example of a chain reaction that the body stopped after puberty. I'm going to simplify it so that it doesn't become too boring, but one thing that really dictates the hardness of erections is something that I talked about briefly in the teleseminar, acetylcholine. Now, you can't go into a shop and buy acetylcholine because it's a biochemical that's produced in the body. So you have to know what to supplement. 
and to produce acetylcholine, you have to supplement choline. Then, when it's in the body, choline becomes the first step in a chain reaction which produces acetylcholine. And when you take the choline in the right quantities, you'll notice having a harder erection as it becomes acetylcholine in the body. This extra hardness is increased further by performing the penis exercises that I've already given you. Obviously, needing supplements means that when using this system, you need to shop online for a few cheap supplements. When you get the supplements, you take them and gradually the chains of biochemicals spring back to life. You supplement something, the chain is reconnected from start to finish, and the final product of all this reacting is one of the biochemicals which helps to make your penis grow. When you do this with all the chains related to penis enlargement, including things like sexual neurotransmitters and nutrients which spark growth, then, whether you like it or not, your penis will begin to get bigger. Now, just to be clear, at that stage, your body is full of the growth-inducing biochemicals. You have no choice. Growth is going to happen whether you like it or not. Now, loads and loads of you have asked me about how long growth takes. Well, as you know, for me, it took 11 weeks. Now, remember that I stopped for three weeks before, but every one of the 12 testers saw growth in 14 weeks at the latest. The fastest results were in eight or nine weeks. As you can see, the difference between eight and 14 weeks is not a lot in a lifetime, sure, but it is quite a lot when you're looking for growth. The difference was based, I found out, on the health of the men. When you're more healthy, your body will react a lot faster. So if you want to see faster results, then you will need to try to exercise a little, stop drinking so much soda, and eating better food. If you love your bad food and soda, then you will still see growth, but it will just take a little longer. On my teleseminar that I did, I told you all that it took me 11 weeks, and some of you have emailed and said that 11 weeks is a long time. Well, i got to tell you, 11 weeks seems like a long time when you're in the middle of it, but it's really short. In fact, when your penis grew during puberty, it took a whole lot longer, didn't it? Lots of the scams out there claim to be able to make your penis grow in as little as two weeks or four weeks, but that's just a sales tactic to make you reach for your credit card. I fell for that trick so many times. I thought, darn, in four weeks, I could be seven inches if I buy this. So I'd go ahead and buy this stuff, and inevitably, I'd be more than disappointed when the thing I bought didn't work at all. What you've got to remember is that this system is about causing real growth. It therefore takes a bit of time. I'm not going to stand here and tell you it takes two or four weeks because it doesn't. Do you remember your penis growing by three inches in a month when you were going through puberty? Of course you don't because it didn't happen. It's just not possible. So this leads on to the opposite question, which is a little more interesting. How is it that growth is happening so quickly when compared with puberty growth with this method? Well, there are two main reasons for this. The first is because during puberty, your body had some biochemicals, but it released them slowly. Slow release meant naturally slow growth. But I figured something out pretty early on. If you give your body more of the supplement in the length that you need, then you produce more of the biochemical than you ever have before. It's kind of like the penis enlargement equivalent of overfeeding. With food, as you know, the more you eat, the fatter you get. If you force yourself to eat loads, then you get fat. With biochemicals, if you supplement more than ever occurred during puberty, then you will see much faster growth. That said, I do not want you overdosing on some supplements. I have clear outlines of exactly how much of everything you should be taking. This is based on experience, which saw me grow by three inches, so please don't ignore it. This is also for your well-being and safety. I include toxicity limits with everything. But don't worry, you won't get close to that because you simply don't need to. The second phase for getting such fast results is the exercises. When you perform the exercises, you trap the nutrient and biochemical-rich blood in the penis for longer than is natural. This means that the biochemicals react more with the receptors in the penis. 
Then, bingo, you accelerate growth. The final thing is to do with stopping growth. A lot of guys don't think about this at first. I bet the thought of stopping penis growth has barely crossed your mind. But when the time comes, you just have to stop supplements and exercise. Then, in a few weeks, you'll notice that your penis has stopped growing. It takes a few weeks because it takes a while for your body to stop producing the biochemicals. Then you will just be left with your bigger penis, and it's permanent.